Tuesday, the 30th of July, 2024, of the 17th week in Ordinary Time, is the optional memorial of St. Peter Chrysologus, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Give me, O most sweet and loving Jesus, to repose in you above all things created, above all health and beauty, above all glory and honor, above all power and dignity, above all gifts, presence that you can give and infuse, and above all that is not you, my God. For you, O Lord, my God, are supremely good above all things. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, May your all-consuming love rule in my heart and transform my life, that I may sow what is good, worthy, and pleasing to you. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Saint Peter Chrysologus Peter Chrysologus, the golden-worded served as a 5th century bishop of Ravenna, the governmental seat of the Western Empire. Empress Gala Placidia heard his first sermon and gave her support to his building efforts in Ravenna, one of the most beautifully adorned cities of Christendom. Of Peter's writings, Several of his sermons and one letter urging the heretic Eutyches to remain in union with the church survive. His homilies were vivid yet concise marvels of brevity. Peter labored among his flock in Ravenna until his death around the year 450. He was declared a doctor of the church in 1729. The Epistle Remember, Lord, your covenant with us, and break it not. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 17. Let my eyes stream with tears day and night without rest over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace, to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not, disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Among the nation's idols, is there any that gives rain? Or can the mere heavens send showers? Is it not you alone, O Lord, our God, to whom we look? You alone have done all these things. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 79 Responsorial Verse For the glory of your name, O Lord, 
deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Gospel Just as the weeds are collected now and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 13 verse 36. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation The righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Matthew chapter 13 verse 43 Did you ever have some good news that you just had to share with someone else only to be met with disinterest? Your excitement probably diminished quickly, and you may have regretted sharing it at all. It's even more challenging when we share the good news of Jesus. Maybe you were moved by the image of the Good Shepherd in Scripture, or by your time with Jesus in adoration. You really wanted to tell someone else about your experience, but you feared what their reaction might be. So you refrained from sharing the light and joy of Christ. If that's your experience, 
then today's gospel is for you. Jesus explains to his disciples that at the end of the age, the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Matthew chapter 13 verse 39 and 43. Imagine you will beam with the glory of God as the good news of the gospel naturally shines forth from you. What a glorious day that will be. There will be no more opposition or indifference and no discouragement. But did you know that even today you already shine? At your baptism, you received, Jesus, the true light, and you have become light yourself. Catechism 12, 16. You carry the light of hope, joy, and peace. You carry the light that can pierce the darkness in and around other people. Yes, you will encounter opposition, maybe an eye roll or a rude remark or cold indifference. But don't let that stop you from sharing encouraging words, insights, joy, and your bright smile. One day, joined with all the saints, you will glorify your Father in His kingdom. You will blaze more brightly than ever. But don't forget that you have the light of Christ in you today. In fact, your light might be just the thing that someone else needs. So don't put it under a bushel basket. Instead, they let it shine for all to see. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 Don't let fear or discouragement cover over that light. Let it burn brightly as you look forward to that day when you will glow like the sun in the kingdom of your Father. Lord, thank you for your presence in me. Help me to shine your light brightly today. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.